Welcome once again to Meadowbrook Homestead. Today, I'm going to be hopefully getting this outdoor wood boiler back into service. So this is an E-Classic 2300. It's made by Central Boiler. It, uh, this one was manufactured in 2008. We have had this on the property the entire time when we bought the house, it was here. But uh, this, this season we have not used it. And the reason why we haven't used it is the old blower um, that injects air into the firebox stopped working. I've got one here that I'm gonna replace and then we're gonna fire this thing back up and put it back into service. With all of the um, increases in heat, heating oil this year, I can't wait to get this thing fired up. At least it, hopefully it'll save me some money over the uh, remainder of the winter. Okay, so parts of the wood boiler that are important, the parts that are important to understand are the firebox, which is right here. This is where I'm gonna load wood and below the firebox, there is a combustion chamber. This is a gasification uh, wood boiler, which means that it reignites the gases from the burning process up here in the, uh, in the firebox down below in the combustion chamber. And it superheats the air, which in turn heats the water that's contained up in this uh, uh, reservoir, a water jacket that's up on the top part of this, uh, this boiler. Under the ground, we have a, uh, a couple of pipes, a couple of tubes that feed water to and from the house, which goes into our uh, dispersal system uh, into the different zones that, uh, that we heat in the house. So um, let's, get, go, let's go on, get going on this. So right now I'm gonna take off the access panels to get to the uh, the squirrel cage that has the blower, the, the old blower motor in it. Take that off. Uh, before I do anything, I have to make sure that there's no power to this uh, furnace. I s already flipped the switch in the house, which, uh, will, which disconnects all power to the heating system. So we're completely devoid of power out here. So first I'm gonna take off these access doors and they go one, two, because of the way that this is, um, this is built. Take this one off first, followed by this one. And if you look in here, this is the this is the squirrel cage basically that uh, that has the blower that pushes air into a manifold system in the firebox, and it blows air onto the burning wood which if you know, just like having a bellows in a fire, you add oxygen, you create a, a stronger fire and uh, it burns much, much better. So this is what this entire contraption does. Some of the parts that are uh, important to understand in here, in this, uh, in this box, You'll see that there are two uh, solenoids that lift these closures off these pipes. So both of these feed uh, manifolds in the, in the firebox. So what's important is to make sure that all of these solenoids work as well as the blower and that um, enough air is being generated to push through those manifolds inside. I'm wearing my snowmobile outfit so that I can sit directly on the ground. Otherwise, it's about 20 degrees out here, so it's a little chilly. Now, let me get to this. Okay, I've done this a couple of times already um, over the years. These are one of, the, uh, one of the items that seem to not last too terribly long. Um, so I brought my toolkit up out here, and my expectation is I, I have everything here to get this get this job done. So. I 
I just re removed the old uh, fan motor and blow uh, the uh, blower, and you can see it's is so hard to turn. Probably has some uh, some corrosion or some type of uh, um, dust in there that caused it to st to stop spinning freely. Uh, the next thing I have to do is disconnect the uh, the wiring, which is pretty much just put in here with a couple of wire nuts on these uh, these two leads. Now the two leads are important, so um, kind of talk a little bit about them. These uh, the the blower mo motor uh, blows at a higher rate when both of the when both of the uh, the baffles are opened, and um, so I need to make sure that when I put this together, I have the, the two leads uh, connected appropriately so that we get the, uh, the right amount of air for the right temperature um, in the firebox. I'm gonna put the new motor in there first, secure it down, then I'm gonna um, cut and strip the wires, uh, the leads to it and uh, connect those up last. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna know if I have it right until I fire up the box. And if I don't have it right, what I'll do is just switch the leads um, afterwards. Next step is I'm going to cut these wires off of this connector because I do not have a connector for this on the inside. And then I'm going to feed the wires through. I'm going to ground this, take this ground wire and ground it after I cut them and strip them. And then I'm going to connect them up with the wire nuts. And the hope is that everything works accordingly. Here's not one work, it's so cold. I do have a wire stripper, but you bring it out. I said it's kind of a guessing game to figure out which one's which, so I'm just going to try one, and if it doesn't work, it's advertised. All these solenoid connections are in. All right. Around this wire here. Yeah, it's kind of janky, but ground's a ground. So the fan's been replaced, the blower's working perfectly. Uh, both of the stages are, are hooked up properly. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna button this all up, get it and get it going. And start loading it up with, uh, with more wood and get this water up to temperature, usually about 175 degrees. So there's a couple of types of wood that I, uh, I use in the furnace. Uh, a lot of split firewood and it, been dried for quite a while. Also, I use a lot of st sticks, um, branches, and then also chunk firewood, which are big pieces of unsplit wood. And pretty much anything that I have out here is going to burn in there. Um, the best thing is that it's dry because the gasification process works best when it's dry wood. Just gotta let this air blow onto that. So I got the damper open, which allows the air, the, the uh, <clears throat> smoke to flow right up through uh, the chimney as we're trying to get this fire going. Once it, once it all catches, it's gonna start moving.
everything that's uh, been sitting under there, like ice, will melt. All the ice on top of this uh, will melt. And then once I have a good set of coals going in here, I'll throw a chunk of, of, uh, of wood right on the top. And move this closer to the uh, closer to the the um, the bellows where the holes are in the manifold where the air comes out. So today we replaced the blower in this uh, wood burning furnace and uh, seems to be working right now. What we're going to do is just let this thing burn down, get the temperature up and then I'm going to go check to make sure that everything in the uh, combustion chamber and uh, in the back workings of this uh, furnace is good to go. But for now everything's looking good and more to come. Thanks for watching. See you later. Hit that subscribe button to subscribe and also the bell for notification when we have a new video out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.